it is a oh shit oh, wow. oh my god i guess so so this is potentially another turnaround he took the job <laughs> did he <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, Anthony here and it is a couple days before Christmas uh, tomorrow's Christmas Eve actually and I'm North Conway area um, came out this way to do some Christmas shopping and got a hotel for the night gonna do some hiking tomorrow obviously doing a little bit of hiking today at least trying to as you can see by the river behind me um, it's pretty high and I think I may have to cross it somewhere I'm heading down to some falls. It's only 0.9. Um, I'm not even gonna try to say the name Win of something or other fault, whatever. Um, just doing a little redlining today. Got into town really late. Uh, had to finish up some Christmas shopping. You know, wait till last minute actually. I've gotta go back downtown and uh, pick up my daughter's present because the place wasn't open yet. So anyways, so I'm trying to get a little small, some small redlining hikes in and this hike might be over before it even starts, but we'll see. I, I think the falls are down the river, so I'm not sure if you actually have to cross the river or not. I, I don't have it on my, doesn't seem to be on my GPS, and uh, wander around and see what I can find, but hopefully I'll get some falls and um, some pictures of some, some type of falls anyways. So anyways, let's see what we can do. Yeah, so I uh, looked at the map again, and it does show you crossing the river right here. So I gotta find a place to cross and see how this works out. Um, there they go. It's Winnowetta Winna Winna Falls Trail. It's point nine to the Winnowetta Falls. It crosses this river here, and then it looks like it follows another one up. So let's go see. background anymore I did not get across that river and went up it back down got in the car thinking maybe it went underneath through 16 somewhere drove up couldn't find anywhere to cross so I'm down here on the imp trail because I'm a sucker for abuse this trail goes I think it's 2.2 miles of imp face which I believe is on the 52 of the view but I'm striking out on what's actually on that list. I'm actually close to the road, hopefully it's not picking up all the cars. But but a mile up there's a river crossing. So this is could be potentially another turnaround. We'll see. I've always wanted to do it face. Haven't had a time to do it. And it was up the street probably uh, I don't know past past watching probably five six miles up from where I was. Figured give it a whirl looked at the map before I got out of the car river crossing halfway up so we'll see i'm got my fingers crossed i can hear a river from here from here i'm hoping it's a place to cross up there so anyways let's get on the trail i've just got micro spikes on right now as you just saw um it's pretty packed 
it was we got a lot of rain yesterday or the day before and yeah, it was the day before lots of rain um, and then it was very warm yesterday so and it might have rained yesterday too I don't even know I can't keep track and uh, so the snow was all mush I heard people were getting rescued from raging rivers um, so this may not work out uh, but today everything is cold again and everything's hardened up so micro spikes only right now so anyways let's go made it across about time we got a success today uh, but that river is three quarters of a three quarters of a mile in um, I've only I've done under a mile which is pretty sad but I've been stopping and uh, doing a bunch of waterfall pictures as but you follow the river up and there's a great bunch of great spots I wouldn't call them waterfalls but you know water coming down uh, practicing my waterfall pictures I guess for when it counts so anyways, I've been taking my time, going slow. It's been pretty pretty steady up. Um, it does get steep towards right by Imp Face. Uh, probably just gonna go to Imp Face today. Was gonna go up and come down the, there's another trail. I di It didn't look broken from the trailhead when I drove by, but I could. this one didn't either until I pulled in and looked. So uh, it's like 3.1 miles to that intersection and then back down. Uh, depends on what time I get there. I've been kind of, there's nothing more exciting to uh, take pictures of on the way up. I'll probably make some good time. Um, forgot my poles. They're in the trunk. Um, I did it the last failed hike, too. So I'm doing this without poles today, which I hate hiking without poles. But I was too concerned with the camera, and there was a lot of traffic on the road and stuff. And I kind of just left them sitting there. So anyways, we'll suffer through. Hey, let's get back on the trail and get up there and see what this is all about. I believe that right up there is Imp Face. And because we're going to loop out this way and then go up that ridge right there. And that would be, I'm almost positive, is Imp Face right there. So we'll see when we get up there. Whew. Hey, everybody. So we're here at the Imp Stairs as I probably just babble the video before or after this cut about being at the imp stairs and how exciting or not exciting they are but I just want to take a second and take my hat off to my buddy Matt my normal hiking buddy who is supposed to be and I haven't heard back from him, so he's either screwed or he's successfully completing a presidential traverse today um, it's a couple days before Christmas officially winter that's why he's coming up behind me. Uh, it's officially winter, and I am listening to the wind howl above my head. I'm in the trees, like deep in the trees here, and it's cool. Um, and I get in a little wind, but it's constant howling up above the trees. So he's doing it. He's more of a man than I am, I guess, because I probably, I don't know, I would have chickened out anyways, but he's, a, he's, an, he's an animal. That's why he keeps me on my toes 
Um, but yeah, I couldn't, I was supposed to work today, so I couldn't even have uh, attempted to go along with them anyways. Um, turned out I didn't have to work. I used to work on Sundays. Didn't have to. Worked out great. But like I said, got up here late. Did some Christmas shopping. Still got one more gift to buy on my way home, and I'm done finally. And then uh, when I get to the hotel, I will probably shoot a couple videos and do some present ra wrapping. Wrapping presents. Um, so... Anyways, the joys of Christmas, hallelujah and Merry Christmas and Happy New Year and all that. And I'll be hiking on Christmas, Christmas Eve, so I'm hiking tomorrow. I think I'm going to hit Willie, Willie tomorrow, um, Christmas Day. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do. I'm going to do something. And then New Year's, i got to work New Year's Eve day, but I will be up here on New Year's Day doing something. And it all depends on how much snowfall and the weather. So anyways, let's get up here. We're... Uh, where are we right now? Where are we? We are, as soon as the GPS updates, 1.44 miles, been hiking, well, I've been uh, moving, that, that's not even the right word either, I have been running the GPS for an hour and 20, 28 minutes, but I bet you my moving time is pretty low, <laughs> moving time less than an hour, <laughs> so... I did a lot of pictures and videos today so far. So we are going to, I'd say we got uh, a little over probably three quarters of a mile to go. So we're almost there. I'm not, I haven't decided, depending on if the trail's broken, I may head up to the intersection and then turn around. That way I can redline the whole imp trail because I believe that trail, once it gets up the intersection, turns into uh, North Carter Trail. It's not loading on the GPS. Oh, I guess the imp trail is actually is part of the loop. So the imp trail goes all the way back down to the road the other way. So I will uh, redline half the imp trail unless that's broken. And maybe I'll head down that way and then do a slight road walk. We'll see. So I do not believe there are any um, river crossings on that trail, if I recall. So anyways, I have babbled enough. And to get back going. So here we are at the outlook on Imp Face. Uh, the summit, I believe, is just up there a little bit further. It looks pretty flat on the GPS, but we'll see in a minute. So the Prezi's behind me. Looks awesome up there today, and it's actually not that windy now. I hear wind, but I'm not feeling it, so it must be bouncing off the prezies, not making over to me. But Matt could be getting pummeled out there. So, geez, the sun's right in there, but we got Wildcat over there. These are the, the Carter Range up in here, I believe. They seem awful close. <laughs> if I would have started earlier, I would have kept going. Um, and then, of course. Mount Washington's right there, so we got um, Eisenhower. Oh, geez, that's Franklin, I think, and then Pierce and Jackson. And the other side. Um, oh my God, I'm I'm losing this one right here next to Washington. Uh, it's on the trail right. Uh, Clay, I believe, and then Jefferson. Adams and then that is Monroe right there and I can't tell if I'm even pointing to the right thing <laughs> And then out there's Gorm, New Hampshire, and I don't know those mountains so anyways and AMC Center down there. Oh wait That's not that's the campground there AMC's over there. Sorry <laughs> Wrong. Anyway, Beautiful Um, it's a little bit of a bushwhack. I wouldn't call it a bushwhack. 
to the summit. At least this is the highest spot I could find. Um, maybe that stump over there, but um, so obviously if this is on the 52 of the view list, it's because of the outlook back there. So I'm gonna go back that way. Um, it goes quite downhill after this, so I'm not gonna go up there and turn around. Um, I was gonna go to the intersection, but I'm good. It's, uh, it's almost two o'clock, so it'll be dark in about two and a half hours. And my check-in time's four, so I'm gonna head down that way. Um, I gotta stop, like I said, stop on the way. I wanna get to the place I'm getting the present before dinner rush. And uh, anyways, so I will probably just head down. So this concludes this video. Um, I just wanna mention, if you guys like what you see, please hit that like button and subscribe if you're new. Um, it always makes me feel all warm inside when you guys like my videos and comment. Comments are even better, because I always try uh, to comment on any comment. That makes no sense. I try to reply to the comments that you guys leave. Um, so anyways, you got any questions, whatever. Um, I'm going to try to post some of my pitches and see how they come out this time, because that is my main goal is filming the hike for myself, for you. Um, and then uh, the second, my second hobby, I guess, is the photography, which, to be honest with you, I kind of suck. But, you know, whatever, I enjoy it. Um, and I'm getting better and better and better. Gooder and gooder and gooder, as one of my old friends used to say. Um, so, anyways, I'll do a spin of the, the wonderful summit view here. And I'm going to go back down and gawk over the presidential range and uh, wonder how Matt's doing up there and head on down. Talk to you guys later and see you on the trail. set up at the campsite for the night. I'll settle in. Um, see, I got my, my quilt fluffing over there. <laughs> and brought my, my, my pillow. Uh, yes, uh, when I stay in at the Hampton Inn in North Conway right now, when I stay, I spend a lot of time in hotels and I always bring my quilt and my pillow to sleep in. Um, I don't mind sleeping in a bed at a hotel, but not putting my face on their pillow. You know, it's a big step up from sleeping in a ham my hammock. So, uh, not big step up actually. I look at it a step down. If I had time to camp, I'd be camping tonight, but I have to be at my mother's at three o'clock tomorrow. And I hiked today, I got a late start, had a Christmas present to grab back in town. Um, and then I'm gonna head out and hike early in the morning, get done and have to drive an hour and a half and be for Christmas Eve uh, festivities we'll call it at three o'clock so I wanted to uh, cut cut and you know cut camp and move out fast so this was my solution so anyways I'll uh, show you around what we got going on here we got the I was streaming YouTube this laptop shuts off really quick but uh, watching syntax latest video got the batteries charging for tomorrow's hike an assortment of adult beverages. This is, I don't even know. I need to drink it because I need, either I'm going to dump it because I need my, um, I need my Nalgene for tomorrow. I couldn't remember what this thing was called there for a second. Um, some Smirnoff left over from a couple nights ago. Uh, I was in the grocery store grabbing some food because, of course, I had, I had uh, some ramen. And I had uh, I had made up a bunch of veggies, peppers, onions, uh, peppers, onions, and mushrooms, and whatever else I had thrown in there. So then I had this to go with it. I bought some rice, but I wasn't feeling the rice. So I had ramen and that. But then I saw the sake. Had to grab the sake. Uh, I've been mixing my one of my Nalgene's with 50% water and uh, cranberry juice, so I'm not sucking down. Uh, all the uh, 
what do you call it, the Propel. I was using Propel on every one to give it some taste. And there's a lot of sodium in Propel, you know, we can bicker back and forth whether we need it or not. But um, that was my thing. Uh, see, here's my, my rice I got. But unfortunately, I forgot Hamptons. And I've stayed at this Hampton before, last winter, when we did Tuckerman's. Um, they don't have a microwave here, so that rice is horrible cold. Anyways, got my pack. Oh, melting everything off it. My overnight bag that always is with me because I never know when I'll end up in a hotel. And camera gear. And all, of course, all the clothes out drying. They must love it when hikers show up here. Boots drying right there. Gators. And uh, my base layers and my favorite jacket that gets so wet when when I hike with it. So anyways, it might be a little dark in here, but I apologize. So anyways, I am going to I'm going to get back get back to my video. I'm watching Syntex New Norway. He's over in Norway, Sweden or something. Not really my cup of tea. I'm not much of a world traveler. I'm just a outdoor traveler. He's about to go on a hike, so maybe it might get interesting. We'll see. And uh, I'm going to just go through some of my waterfall pictures I took today. I worked hard today, spent a lot of time on it, and uh, looking forward to seeing how those came out. Hard to do on a phone, but I can't do it on my work tablet. So anyways, till the morning. Willie is in the sights right now. We'll see if that happens. Um, right now, that I don't remember any big river crossings, so I think that'll work out good. And that's all I can think of. So... Anthony signing out for the night. One of the disadvantages of staying in a hotel is I think if I pulled out my stove and started boiling water, or heating water up to take hiking, it might set off some smoke alarms. So what I've been doing is filling up the coffee maker <laughs> and just running it without a filter and then putting it in my Nalgene. And uh, this one's just about done. I'll put, I'll put a, uh, probably some cranberry juice in here. I got some cranberry juice in the other room. And then uh, and put it in my Nalgene warmer, my holder case, whatever you call and it. I just put it in. I have another one of these. It's in the car, though, unfortunately. I'll bring it in. And I'll just stick it in there and put it in my pack. Pack all ready to go, even though I think we're going to leave the snowshoes behind today. Uh, Matt you did the whole Prezi yesterday without snowshoes, and I did Imp Face without the shoes, so probably go without those. Going to pack up the micro spikes, though, and of course the camera gear. went over a river. The reason being, I talked me into doing the whole range. So, I'm well, just about to Avalon now. Get up there and get some views. And, uh, and then up to Tom, over to Willie. And then, if I have enough time, uh, I'm gonna go run up to Tom. Ah, excuse me, we're gonna go to Field, Willie, and then if I have time, up to Tom. I'm not sure if I said that the right order. Anyways, let's go get some views.
Views for days. Postal, postal. See how choosy he is. They always put all the chocolate back. He took the chocolate. <laughs> Did he? Yeah. Oh, he, they put it right in the tree? Woohoohoo! Right over the rock! <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, it's hurt. <laughs> oh, my God, I guess so. I think it just broke my ass. <laughs> Holy crap, I couldn't stop. <laughs> that was a good one. Into the tree! <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's deep here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As you can see, I ended up doing more than just Willie. Um, when we got up to the Highland Center and I cleared out my passenger seat for Matt, he put his stuff in and then he said something to me about, um, he said something about, you know, why don't I do all, all three, four, because we did Avalon too. And I got thinking as I stopped and checked out the trailhead um, to go up wa Willie with the ladders on it up the Appalachian Trail. Um, basically, after I left that trail, I just climbed and climbed and climbed up through the notch. And I'm like, wait, so I'm going to drive downhill to hike back uphill. So I, I've already been up the Appalachian Trail. I've been up the ladders. I've been up the Kendron Flume Trail. So I've, been, I've done all that stuff over there. So I'm like, yeah, what the heck? Let's do Willie first. Um, and then I can bail at any time if I have to. So we went up and did Avalon. Well, obviously you have to hit field over to uh, Willie. And then I decided, I looked at the clock. We only took us 45 minutes to go from uh, field to Willie. And it, it's actually, so I'm like, okay, 45 minutes back. Got enough time. Headed over to Tom. We were on the summit of Tom like at 11.05. And back down, it's uh, 12.30. So... And now I am heading to my parents' house for Christmas Eve. Uh, we do dinner and presents and stuff. And then from there, my daughter's house. Uh, spend the night up there and do Christmas morning. She's out in western Maine. And then um, after Christmas, we do presents and breakfast there. I am going to jump back in the car and head back to the mountains. Um, I've got Tecumseh on my radar or something over that way. Um, not sure yet. It'll be a late start, so I want to do something short and easy. Um, so that's what what I think I have planned right now. We'll see. So there'll be a third day to this video. <laughs> it's just going to be a never-ending video. So on this little mini vacation, I guess. Christmas holiday vacation. So anyways, till the morning. Okay, what's your name?
Jacqueline. <laughs> What's your name? Hazel. Evelyn. And who are you? We are Pop Pop's grandchildren. <laughs> Papa. What? Oh, here comes hey, your brother. Wh what's your name? Brent. And who are you? Uh, kid. A kid. A I kid. am Brent. Uh, are you Pop Pop's grandson? I'm Pop Pop's grandson. <laughs> he likes playing with Legos. <laughs> I made a big Lego set. Where'd you get that? I I built it. You build it. Can, do you know how to do, uh, do you know how to do, uh, uh, how to floss? Do, floss for me. <laughs> no, guys, this is how you floss. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> I can't really Alright, do the, uh... So. Evelyn. Hey, Jamie Jr. Jamie Jr. <laughs> Show me how to floss. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. So it's day three and on the way to Tecumseh to meet Dolores and do some more hiking, day three of hiking. Uh, first day was uh, Imp Face, second day Willie, uh, Willie, Field, Tom, and Avalon with, with Matt, and then now day three, Tecumseh with Dolores. Um, so this one will be, yesterday Willie was number 20 for my winner list. Uh, for the New Hampshire 48 winter list. I know I don't talk much about lists, but I do do the winter list. And this will be 21, obviously. Um, so, anyways, almost there. We, we're going up from the ski slope because the other trailhead isn't open um, this time of the year. It's on a closed road. So, we're going to do that. It's not a big hike, it's, which is good because by the time I get there, it'll be 1 o'clock. It's Christmas Day, so i uh, got to get a real, real late start today. So anyways, um, I'll shoot some video, probably not a lot today, but get some in there, some views. It's clear skies today, so there should be some views unlike yesterday. Yesterday's video was mostly just milk and a couple of river crossings and not a lot, but I've... I've been up those mountains a bunch of times shot a bunch of videos for those mountains so I felt like I didn't have to really overdo it so um, and I hope you enjoyed some of the uh, video from my Christmas uh, this morning and last night um, didn't get any at my parents house um, but got tons because the kids all want to be on my YouTube channel so uh, make sure they want to make sure you guys all like this video because they're the stars of it even though they're only going to have a couple minutes in between um, the thing but I babbled enough. Gonna get there and uh, get right on the trail. So see ya out there. to head up to the summit we're gonna head up that way drop our packs and go check out the views a little windy today but all together pretty warm here we go mm -hmm. 